a film of yours you had huge expectations from but it didn't do well at the box office oh so many <laughs> well there was a film i did called holiday which was your most favorite historical film ever made in bollywood can you name a few what makes kunal kapoor different and special from all the actors you have worked with so far uh biggest takeaway from the empire uh i mean you sum up shabana azmi in one word great fun Everyone thinks that Shabana ji is a very very serious person and I I used to feel like that as well. How the role of Babar impacted you personally? Well, I honestly I won't say it's impacted me in any sort of way personally. So do you know what impressed you the most about your role in the empire? Shabani Khan. His character is just beautiful it's just it's just everything you want because it's a huge challenge to play this crazy mad savage brutal slightly emotional cunning character so as an actor it was beautifully challenging for me what is the most challenging thing about playing this role that the fact he can be all these characteristics thrown into one and sometimes you just don't see it in his face You just don't see it sometimes you don't see the brutality sometimes you don't see the savageness but when he walks past you you never know what he's going to do if he's going to hug you or he's going to kill you what is something about the mogal era that fascinates you a lot just you know that era every era it's not only the mogal era any era and period in that time just had so many fascinating aspects to it the time when they started where the story is based actually when before they came towards india this was in uzbekistan in samarkand and fargana just the way they lived It was just very impressive, very interesting for me. Anything in history and period has always been interesting, whether it's this era or any other era. Whether you look at the British era or the, the Anglo-Saxon era, or any of these historical periods, they all just fan, very fascinating. A role played by you that's closest to your heart, Shabani Khan. Apart from this, um, actually, my 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 second film, Raz, it was something I really enjoyed doing. It was it was just a new large experience, a very new large experience, and I. Right. I love Aditya and Raj. Yeah, and great music too. Yeah. A film of yours you had huge expectations from, but it didn't do well at the box office. Oh, so many. <laughs> well, there was a film I did called Holiday, which was I mean I really worked hard on that film, a dance film. I really worked hard on it, and nothing really came of it in the in the box office. So yeah, that one. I worked, I danced for eight months, and then nothing really came of it. So it was it was a tough one. In your debut film, if you were to play Peshwa Baji Rao, who would be your Mastani and Kashi Bai? I love it. Drashti in a double role. Oh, Drashti and Deepika. How about that? So Drashti is playing which role and Deepika is playing which role? Uh, Mastani is Drashti. Oh, okay. All right. And Deepika is Kashi Bai. Okay. Rithik in Jyoti Akbar or Ranveer in Baji Rao Mastani? Your favorite performance? You know, I love. I, it's tough because I really like both. I really like both. Uh, it, it, it's a tough one, Ron. To be honest, they were both fantastic. I mean, I can't choose. I really can't choose. I'm not being politically correct, but I can't choose. If foreign people were given true serum, what one question you'd definitely ask them? Kunal Kapoor. Were you nervous doing that scene against me? <laughs> <laughs> Drashti, Dami. I think you fell in love with me. Tell me the truth. <laughs> Did favoritism or groupism in our industry ever affect you or your career? Yes or no? No, never did. Would you say this is your most challenging role so far? Yes, I would definitely say this is one of my most challenging roles. Have you ever had a fight with your co-actor? Uh, no, never have. If I if there's a congeniality or what, I think I'd win it. You know, I've never. I've, Never had a fight with any of my co-stars, former directors. All right, just producers. That's... They don't give me the money. <laughs> Common quality between Khan Zada Begum and Drashti Dhami. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Your biggest takeaway from the Empire. Ah, uh, me. Both of them. Ooh. Hey, hey. Ah, okay. If Devdas were to be remade today, which role would you play, Paru or Chandramukhi? Chandramukhi. Your most favorite historical film ever made in Bollywood? Can you name a few? Baji Rao, Padmavat, uh, um, uh, Lagan, Lagan. If you were to spend a day with any historical figure, who would that be apart from Khan Zada Begum? Shahbani Khan. 
What makes Kunal Kapoor different and special from all the actors you have worked with so far? He actually is introvert. He's an introvert, but he's not. If you get to know him a little better, is what I've understood. And uh, he's quite intense on set, but he's equally fun when he's not on set. Mastani or Kashi Bai, which role would you love to play? Kashi Bai. Deepika as Padmavat or Ashwarya as Jodha, your favorite. Deepika as Padmavat. Which celebrity comes to mind when I say the following? Uh, my role model. Priyanka Chopra. Do you think this show will be the biggest turning point in your career? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Have you ever left a cinema hall in interval because the film was really bad? Yeah, I'm not going to name it. That's okay. That's okay. I think that was that was really brave. Kunal, if you could meet any historical character today, who would that be apart from Babar and Shabail Khan? Historical character, uh, I think Mahatma Gandhi. And why is that? Well, I just uh, I find his uh, his approach and his philosophies and all that have been very very interesting. And uh, you know, he's somebody I would have loved to meet. What was the biggest challenge in playing this role? The biggest challenge actually was the pandemic. I think, you know, we uh, we were supposed to shoot this uh, over four months, and uh, we've taken two years to finish it uh, because of the scale of it. And you know, when you're shooting during uh, the pandemic, and you have to continue uh, creating something at that scale, it becomes very challenging. Uh, we've shot the action over eighteen days, uh, horses, elephants, hundreds of uh, you know fighters and character artists and. Uh, Huge sets, which have taken months to build. So all that became, I think, very, very challenging. And as an actor, I think it's uh, uh, it's very challenging because you know everybody else can wear a mask on the set, and when you go on a set, you got to take the mask off, and you're smack in the middle of the pandemic. And even though everyone's been tested and stuff, there is still a sense of fear. So I think uh, that's been the biggest challenge. You find liberating that um, the sort of freedom that OTT provides to actors. Um, I think for a movie, um, I don't think. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong. If you feel that uh, maybe producers would have come forward and Kunal Kapoor is helming the the film, and we'll be making these huge huge sets and uh, all that jazz around it. But but uh, on an OTT platform, because I think it's the entire project that that really is the is the star that um, producers and 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 platforms they're fine with it because they know that it as as a show something is going to work. Yeah, absolutely. It's the I've been saying that OTT platforms are the democratization of talent, mm. uh, which means that uh, you're not cast according to market forces. You're cast according to you cast according to who's appropriate for the role, and because of which, uh, not only in India but across the world, you see so many talented actors now that have never been seen before, have never got their due. Uh, you know, doing really, really well. So it really is the democratization of talent. And the great thing about OTT, like you were saying, is that it's not. Dependent on market forces, uh, right. even for even for things like let's put in a song or let's uh, you know how do we get a big opening? Those are things that are not uh, not part of uh, the dictionary. Where whereas as far as OTT platforms are concerned, and it's great for actors. And yeah, no one is asking that CP Bharar means what audience is for this. In this case, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you have to add an item song and six songs. Yes, yes. Romantic songs, so you need to add it. Right. What did you find? Uh, the most fascinating thing about Babar. You know what I found really fascinating about how this character is written is that this character has a lot of self doubt. He's crippled by self doubt. Uh, mm -hmm. So even when he becomes the emperor, uh, he feels like, "Am I good enough? Do I deserve this? Did I get lucky?" And I've met a lot of successful people who, you know, when you look at them from the outside, you feel like these are people that must be perfect. They must be very confident, and they must be driven, and they must be determined, and all that. And then, when you get to know them, you realize that they have a lot of self doubt, and they are sometimes crippled by that self doubt. So that was a that was something that I found very interesting about him. All right, a quality of Drashti Dhami you wish all your co-actresses had. Well, she's very easy to work with. She's uh, she's a pleasure to work with. She's very easy. There's no drama. She's just there to do her work. And even uh, off screen, she's really easy to hang out with and great fun to be around. So that's great because I've worked with the uh, with some actresses where there's more drama off screen than on screen. And uh, with her, it's not like that, which is great. And mummy too, mummy in two as well. And there's no mummy, yeah. All right. How the role of Babar impacted you personally? Well, I honestly, I won't say it's impacted me in any sort of way personally. I mean, I don't think uh, any role really sort of impacts me like that. I think it just gives you a chance to discover parts of yourself that you haven't discovered before, and uh, uh, it just gave me a chance to. Dis this is a character who's physically very strong, but can be emotionally 
uh, weak and vulnerable. Uh, so it just uh, gave me a chance to uh, dive into more vulnerable parts of myself. And uh, uh, that's something that you don't often do in your whole life. Uh, you know, and I think uh, acting gives you a chance to do that. How can you sum up Shabana Azmi in one word? Great fun. Everyone thinks that Shabana Ji is a very, very serious person. And I, I used to feel like that as well. But it's just great fun being around her. She's just full of great stories, anecdotes, jokes. You know, she's, she's a lot of fun to be around. If a biopic were to be made on foreign people, which actor you think would be perfect to play them on screen? APJ Abdul Kalam. Abdul Kalam would have been, would be a very, very difficult one to cast. Uh, you know, on, uh, 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 when I wake up, my hair often looks like his. So uh, I think maybe I'll be the right guy. <laughs> okay, Ashok Kumar, sahab, the, the legendary Ashok Kumar act, actor. The actor? Mm-hmm. I don't know, somehow the first name that comes to my mind is Ayushman Kurana. All right, interesting. Okay, Dilip Kumar, sahab. Dilip Kumar, sahab, how do you cast for? I mean, how do you, how does anyone match up to playing Dilip Kumar, sahab? Would you say Babar in the in the Empire is your most challenging role so far? Uh, yes. Have you regretted passing any role? Yes. Have you ever had a fight with any of your directors? No. 